uh, <coughs> how to tell if the phaser is in the lockup position or not. The three fingers on top and the two fingers on bottom, the middle finger and where there's three should line up with the L on the passenger side and it would it, it would be on the R on the driver's side. So what's the blue line for? Inspection. But that's that's big. And what you want to do is uh, make sure they understand. You know, is put it in. How to check if the phaser is locked in the the off position. So what does that do? Advance. What's the, the it, phaser do? The phaser changes the cam. It turns it. It either retards it. So it actually turns the cam. Yeah, as... there's cl these there's clutches and stuff in here, and it, it lets that cam move. And sets the resets the timing to what the computer wants. It'll either retard it or advance. And it's it. got to do them both at one time. Yes. How the come this one doesn't have? It does. It's on the bottom. Oh, it's on the bottom. Mm -hmm. What is this, a sensor? To, to that's the cam that's, sensor. That's what these things are about. Yep. And the middle one is the one that it's after. So both sides has got a cam sensor. Yes. Okay. Does it have a crank sensor too? Crank is sensor in? is right here. So these paint marks that are ever so often are why? On the head bolts, they put a straight line on it. It's torque the yield bolts. You torque it to like 45, and then you turn it 90 degrees. But that's big, I'm telling you. People don't want to know how to how to do that right there. I looked and looked and looked until I finally found it.